Okay, can we play? We can level look around. Uh, do 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 do. Here we go. Uh, one for one point one two. That's interesting. It gave me Natasha and Master, and I didn't call them. Um, it's weird what rules it wants to follow from the original. It's one for one point one two. In the original, you had to call people to put it in the, the codec. Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? Fine, I will. That flash, I hate it every single time. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, Yoshi and Mario figures. Look at them. Honestly, they're the highest quality thing in this game. <laughs> the resolution of them looks so good. Compared to everything else. <laughs> okay, that's cute. I like that. Shouldn't be wasting my tranquilizer armor though. Also, GameCube. That's a menu. What a weird controller the GameCube would have. That's cool though. What's that got on the front of it? wireless thing is it? I've never really played the GameCube so I'm not certain. But it's cool that it's in here. If you played it on the original version on PlayStation, there was a PlayStation here, PlayStation 1. Um, on the PC version it was something else, I don't remember what. And I think there was another version as well if I remember. And the poster that they were looking at is actually something. It's an actual anime, I believe. I think it's something that Hideo Kojima works on. It might not be this one, but it works on something like it's called Police Notes. I don't know if that's it or not. Because I've never actually seen it. In fact, there's something in the corner there. Is that Zone of the Enders? I can't really see, but it looks like the, the logo to it. Whatever it's called. I need to play Zone at the Enders. I've tried playing it so many times. Alright, I'm going to save it. No, I'm going to save it. And then I'm just going to go for a P and I'll be back one in a second. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of CMU or Princeton like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton Radar System, or the Codex System. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe... It would be better if engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. No, you're wrong. There's at least one person whose life has gotten better as a result of your inventions. Me. Plus, you aren't making weapons. The codec, you aren't making giant you, mechas. Thanks. With missile launches, lasers, and rocket launches. There's a big difference between you two. Oh, to be fair, Hal wasn't 100%. Well, he wasn't aiming to make. A death robot. It just so happened that uh, that's what happened. <laughs> he was making a giant robot and there's one else put weapons on it but I think he also designed the weapons as well. Let's carry on. Uh, I'm muted. Yes I did. So we're gonna loot the next area first because I didn't loot all of the place last time. Let's put on a gas mask pretty trolley. It looks like he had maggots on him, but I think it's just the, the game de resolution in his model when we zoom out. Oh, it is brutal, brutal this scene. We've added gore to it as well. And they've actually put cuts in. I think in the original that wasn't there. I mean, it was blood, but there's no, there were no cuts on the body. Again, I might be remembering wrong. That happens a lot. That was a cool scene though. Right, let's go loot and take out these cameras that just really pissed me off last time. 
still can't get in there. Level 6. That'll be a while before we get in that one. Damn it. Got it. Great, great, great. Oh, C4. Won't be using that for a long time, though. There we go. Nikita, Nikita. And finally, night vision goggles. That's useful. Will we actually need to use that? There is one area of the game that is dark, but I don't know if it's dark in this version. I need air. Let's go back to the lab. And let's just take a breath. There we go, I'm back in. Then we'll check the rooms on that path up and then we'll he head to the next floor where we can find Meryl. And I'll try to get the Easter egg there as well. I need to follow her in right behind her. Remember right, I failed to do that on the uh, my first playthrough of this when I uh, did it ages ago when I was sick I'm not gonna fuck it up this time now it's weird the soundtrack to this so they're obviously not they're not doing the entire soundtrack but sometimes it's they created a song that sounds com almost identical to the original and sometimes it's just completely different. It's strange what they want to keep and what they want to just completely replace. Who are you? Are you good? I'm supposed to look at the book. I want to kind of just... Alright, that's not Meryl. <laughs> I'm just going to drag you out of the way. Are well, you not going to be a problem? Right, there's one person in here. Yep, and it's Meryl. There's only one way to actually check, though. Let's check. Is it you? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, so we need to Try and get ahead of her. Damn it. Hello. And then go on, go on, go on. <laughs> okay, we managed to manage to do it. So the Easter egg is that now she shouldn't be wearing pants or trousers. Because we followed her in too quickly and she hasn't been able to change properly. Whereas if you give it more time, she'll uh, be wearing her normal trousers. Why have you got your gun out? We're here for Meryl, you know. You're not going to fucking shoot her. Don't move. I guess you're not so green after all. Sneak up on the legendary solid snake. There we go. <laughs> so, so creepy. Oh, and you can see a nipples for a shirt as well. That's just fucking exactly what we expect. To be There's honest. No way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. Oh, is that what you're concerned about right now? I had no idea. Oh, aren't you cold? Feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. 
I got tired of disguising myself. You're not a very good soldier then. <laughs> Truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. Okay, that makes more sense. Mark. Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. Oh, There's no fucking emo. for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. I disagree about that. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive. Is this how Snake picks up women? You can't stop loving war. Look at how dark and evil I am. History. All I'm bred for is war. Why didn't you contact me? My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? <laughs> anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I, you know what, I feel like Kojima would approve of this cutscene at least. There's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. But? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So I feel like that's kind of a quality that it was looking at Snake's dick right there. There we go, she's put her trousers on now. So Snake, how are the negotiations and going? And you can't see her nipples, which is... No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? I mean, you're still the same tank top. Somebody's gotta stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. <laughs> so you cheesy. card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. So you know. I don't like to waste bullets. <laughs> I'll slit your throat instead. Is this flirting? Is this what flirting is? I don't know. I'm a soldier. Got it. I'll be careful. You know. I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. Snake looks weird there. Following your father's footsteps. The shadows were wrapping around his face. Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. Is she crying? I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I know it's an emotional speech, but the voice actor... I want to know 
who I am, what I'm capable of. He's not of. pulling that off. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived. And this has come out of nowhere. Now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? <laughs> Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Well, now who's been sexy, a snake? Now you treat me like a woman? Yeah, there we go. Come on, use my 45. <laughs> Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. How much stuff do you have down your bra? It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. I mean, your uniform actually has pockets. Guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. It's <laughs> strange. How's the upside down? What happened to the music? Yeah, that's my question. Why did they ruin the music for this game? It's even a different version of the original uh Psychomantis hymn. Before I do that, I want to go exploring. I want the stuff. How many have we got? We're good. I believe there is actually something we need to get here. If I'm certain. God damn it. I, I, I don't think there's been a single one so far that actually has something in it when you break it down. That happened in Metal Gear Solid 2. I mean, they brought the system over for you to knock the door down. They just haven't put anything in behind the doors. And... Pentazem, yep, yeah, we need that for later. Oh, that's locked. I think that's how uh, more Pentazem. I think you can get cold medicine as well, but maybe I'm misremembering there. Cardboard box, that'd be useful. And that's all there is for now. So let's have a quick look at Meryl. I don't know if that Easter egg from the first game is still here where she gets redder the more you stare at her. What? What is it? But we can have a look. Are you gonna go red? Let's find out. Why are you staring at my Your face? Don't uh, don't assume too much. Come on, Snake. You're gonna blush. Don't stare at me like that. I don't think that'll happen in the, in this version. So if you don't know what I'm on about, what are you doing? in the first in, in the original game, if you stared at her, she, her face would turn red. I don't think that happens in this. What? What is it? Okay, let's move. Well, you said you were going to be point man, and yet I'm leading us here. You just let us out of the bathroom, is that all? 